One of the world's most venomous marine creatures, the blue ringed octopus, is common in our tidal pools here in Sydney and along most of Australia's coastline. Their venom is fatal, it acts within minutes, and there's no antidote. It's meant to be a relatively painless bite, but the deadly toxin begins working immediately. You feel tingly and then numb, next to all your muscles weaken, and then you can't breathe. Ultimately, you suffocate. The toxin is tetrodotoxin, the same toxin that causes fatal poisoning if you eat improperly prepared fugu. Fugu is a Japanese delicacy, thinly sliced raw puffer fish, which has tetrodotoxin through its flesh. Specialist chefs slice just the right amount to give you the tingly sensation of the toxin, but not enough to kill you, although sometimes they get it wrong. Tetrodotoxin is a thousand times more toxic than cyanide. It's a neurotoxin which binds the sites of our sodium channels. It inhibits the firing of action potentials in our neurons. So what does this mean? Well, it blocks the ability of our nerves to transmit messages and all our muscles under nervous control stop. Because it stops our nerves messaging, this is why it acts so fast. Unfortunately for us, we need muscles to breathe and those muscles are under nervous control. Tetrodotoxin injected by the blue rings finds its way quickly into our bloodstream. It shuts down messages along our nerves and when there's enough venom present, we go into respiratory failure and within minutes. Its effect is dose dependent, so your symptoms vary depending on how much venom the octopus injects. But also how big you are. The more venom you get, or the smaller you are, the greater the effect. So kids are at greatest risk, not only because of their small body size, but also because they're more likely to pick up and hold one in their hand, and so get an enormous dose of venom injected by a terrified octopus. I have to confess, I was one of those crazy kids. I grew up on a beach that was home to blue rings. I never got bitten, but I played with them in the rock pools and I collected them. In fact, I kept them in a saltwater tank in my bedroom. There was no helicopter parenting in my house. Although there's no antidote to the toxin, if you give mouth to mouth resuscitation straight away, the victim has a really good chance of surviving. But you need to continue that respiratory support until they can regain the ability to breathe for themselves and this may take many, many hours. So it's important that you continue providing oxygen even if the victim appears to be not responding. This is because with enough tetrodotoxin, they'll be completely paralyzed. And although paralyzed, the person is likely to be fully conscious and aware of everything that's going on. Once they're in the hospital, the patient's treated with respiratory assistance and within 24 hours, all the toxins gone from their body and they'll be fine. Blue rings use their venom to paralyze their prey, but they can't make the toxin themselves. They have stores of bacteria that live in their salivary glands, and it's these bacteria that produce the tetrodotoxin. When the octopus attacks, they hold their prey in their tentacles and bite with a bird-like beak to inject the venomous spit. But tetrodotoxin is not only in their saliva, it's all through their body, and in particularly high concentrations in their tentacles. This makes their body highly poisonous. That blue flash is a warning to unwary predators that poison lays within. Now often people use the terms poison and venom interchangeably, but you shouldn't. They have different meanings. Poisons are absorbed either through your skin or when you eat them, whereas venom is always injected. So blue rings are not only venomous if they bite you, but also poisonous if you're stupid enough to eat them. But the good news is there's very little chance of you getting bitten. Although their sting can be fatal, only two people have died in Australia and none since the 1960s. This is because blue rings are not aggressive. In fact, they're shy creatures. And they even warn you by flashing blue that they're dangerous. They spend most of the day hiding in rocky crevices in our coastal rock pools. They emerge at night to hunt small fish and crabs. But they will bite you if you harass and poke at them but also if you accidentally pick one up. They may be asleep in a shell or a bottle. So remember, be careful to check before you pick up that shell. Make sure there's not an exquisite blue ringed octopus asleep inside. You don't want to spend the next 24 hours paralyzed in hospital.